Hey guys, my name is Deb Marnie and I'm from Aussie Mail. Welcome to our Chainmail tutorial channel. Hey guys, a big hi, hello, welcome. Really glad to see you today. Thanks for popping in and spending some time with me. So today I'm doing another weave tutorial and this time we're looking at the Metropolis weave. All right, guys, let's just jump straight into it. Okay, so here are some sample pieces of the Metropolis weave that we'll be doing today. So I've got a few pieces here in the different gauges. So up on the side here will be the list of the rings that are used, but I'll also point them out to you as I go along. So the one here on the left is the um, 14 gauge AWG, which is 1.6 millimeter diameter wire. And the ring ID I chose to use here was 11, uh, sorry, 10 millimeters, 10 millimeter ID. Now this is a little bit, the aspect ratio that I chose for these are a little bit tighter than what is um, mentioned as ideal on male artisans. Um, I chose to do that because one, as you know, I like a denser weave. Two, I hate working with high aspect ratio rings. So if I can make that aspect ratio smaller, if I can reduce the ID of the ring in a weave and still have it work out, especially with these high aspect ratio weaves, um, that is something I will always do. So um, these are rings that are around the 6.5 aspect ratio, which as I said, is a little bit smaller, I believe. The ideal aspect ratio is 7.4 on the Male Artisans website um, and it looks perfectly okay at that ID. I just, as I said, I prefer to reduce my high aspect ratio rings whenever I can. So this is why this is a little bit smaller than perhaps what's listed elsewhere. So as I said, 14 gauge AWG 10 millimeter ID. The next one is 16 gauge AWG, which is 1.2 millimeter diameter wire. And the ring ID um, I chose to use on this one was uh, 7.5 millimeters. This is 18 gauge AWG, uh, 1.0 millimeter diameter wire. The ring ID here is 6.25. And then this one here is 20 gauge AWG, uh, 0.8 millimeter diameter wire and the ring ID here is five mils. So it's a nice lovely flat weave. It's got a very interesting uh, side section. It's reminiscent of the, the GSG weave uh, and all of those weaves that fall into that variation. Um, so if you're familiar with those weaves you shouldn't have too much of a problem with this one at all. Okay, so to start this weave, we're going to close two of our rings. So I'm working in the 14 gauge rings, uh, just so you guys can easily see what I'm up to. So close two of your rings. And then you want these to sit right one on top of the left side one. And then take something like a twist tie and pop that through those two rings and sort of hold it all in place. Okay, you're going to need to be able to hold those two rings in place. So if you don't have a twist tie, try a piece of wire, maybe you could tape these into position, um, but it will help if you've got these two rings held somehow like this. All right, so once you've got your rings, starting rings in position like that, we're going to have two maneuvers in this weave. Uh, so if you know GSG, um, this is a very familiar weave for you. So we've got here where these two rings overlap is what we call an eye. And in this weave, we're going to go either through the eye, which means putting the ring straight through and closing it up or we're going to go around the eye which generally means putting the ring open ring through both of our closed rings there making sure it goes around the eye there and then closing the ring up so that's the two steps you need 
they're the only two steps you're going to need. All right, so our first ring, we're going to put it around the eye. So just like that. Okay, it's that simple. It goes through the ring on the right, comes back up through the ring on the left. Our next one is going to go through the eye of our first two rings. So to do that, as I said, we just go straight through like this. Make sure it's on top of the ring that went around the eye. So it goes straight through there and close that up. And this is what your work should currently look like. So we're now going to repeat those same steps on the two rings that we just added. Okay, so firstly, we're going to put our first ring around the eye. So when we look at our two new rings, this is them here, you can see that there's the eye just there. So the first one goes around the eye. Okay, so you can see I'm just working in our second set of rings, the first set of rings now you don't need to touch. So we close that up. And then our next ring needs to go through the eye. And to put it through the eye, we want it to sit on top of the ring that we just placed. So we want it to be on this side of the ring. So the side going away from you, not the side that is more closest to you, but the side that's furthest away. And we're just going to go through the eye like that okay so that you can see that when those rings are lying flat that new ring is going on top of the previous ring okay close that up and then you've got these two rings here these are the two rings that we just added so this one and this one and again, we want our next ring to go around the eye. So open up another ring, find our two rings. So we're, we're sort of building this, this weave this way, okay? It's sort of going sideways. A lot of these weaves you build this way, uh, front to back. This one's sort of heading off sideways. So here's our two new rings. Okay, these are the rings that we just added, the one that went around the eye and the one that went through the eye. We want our new ring to go around the eye that overlaps. Okay, so just like that. And the next ring goes through the eye on top of the ring that we just added. Okay, so here's the two rings that we're working with. Here's the eye. This is the ring that we just placed. So we're going to put our new ring through that eye there and close it off. Okay. And then we've got our two new rings here that we're working with. These are the two rings we just placed. There's the eye just in there. So again, we take up a ring. We go around the eye. We close it up. Our next one needs to go through the eye. So it just goes straight through there like that. Remaining on top of the ring that we just added. Okay. So you can see how the weave is forming. These are our two new rings here. 
here's the eye where they overlap and we just keep doing that around the eye through the eye around the eye through the eye okay and that's it guys that's the metropolis weave so as I said if you're used to uh, GSG and any of those variants this will be very familiar to you um, it's the same basic ideas so if you are struggling a little bit with this concept it might be worth checking out how to do uh, GSG weave first um, I'll link to our video up here in the corner for you if you want to go and check that out it's a beautiful weave on its own anyway it's worth checking out if you've never done it before but that's it guys that's that's all you keep doing all the way down the bracelet so as you're working you might see that this set of rings here that we just placed are sitting up the next set when we place them lie down a little bit sit up lie down that's the way it's meant to be um, and again you just first ring goes around the eye regardless of which way the rings are laying and then the next one goes through the eye while laying on top of the ring that you just placed okay when you go through the eye you want to make sure that that ring I should have mentioned this earlier that that ring sits to the right side not to the left side okay so you always place that new ring that's going through the eye so that it lays on the right side so again here's our new set of rings these ones are laying down flat away from us but again we just go around and then through through the eye And we let that ring just naturally fall to the right side it then sits up and we can very easily see the eye here and we just continue going on so that's it guys hope um, that was easy for you to see I wish I had the right rings in two colors unfortunately I don't have uh, colored rings that match the ones that are needed. I'll just put one more in through the eye. Okay, it's only a little bit of an eye, but it's still the eye. Okay, and that's it. There's your metropolis weave. All right, guys, well, that's it. That's the video tutorial today. I truly hope that it was of help to you and you have enjoyed making this weave with me. If you did enjoy this video tutorial and you found it helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up here on YouTube. Um, leave any comments or questions below. Share the video to your heart's content. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, then perhaps you might consider doing that. Uh, check out some of the content that we've got here. We've got many, many videos for you to look at. And last but certainly not least, guys, don't forget our shop link up here in the corner. This is where you'll be able to buy everything you need to make this weave and many others. And every um, item that's purchased from the store helps us a great deal. And obviously it will encourage us to keep going with these videos. All right, guys, thanks again for popping in and I hope to catch up with you sometime in the very near future. Bye now.